Hi there, welcome to day two of Artists for Everyone camp. Today we're going to be looking at the proportions of the face and the human head. We're gonna talk about where all of our parts are placed on our face, how kind of far they are from each other, um, how you end up with the forehead looking like the right dimension. And we're gonna work on our own sketches. And if you all wanna add um, the shades of brown that we were mixing up yesterday and try that again, we'll be able to do that as well. Okay. So today we are gonna work on sketches of our self. We call those self portraits. Um, I just wanna talk a little bit about the proportions of the face and the human head. I believe that we put one of these in each of your art kits. Um, and so basically what I need for you to have out today at this moment is your other piece of drawing paper that you would have gotten in your kit and a pencil. And that'll be most helpful. Some people might want a ruler for this, but we're just gonna kind of wing it. And um, right now we're gonna go ahead and just draw a an oval shape for your head. Okay, now I know that that's really light for you uh, to be able to see on the camera. So for me, just to help you see this, I'm gonna go ahead and go over that in Sharpie. But you are just gonna be working in pencil right now, okay? That's just to help you all. Now the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is very lightly so that you can erase this later, you're gonna draw right through the middle of your face shape, uh, a line that goes horizontally, and then we're gonna do a line that goes right down the middle vertically, okay? And what this helps us do is that a lot of times when we're doing self-portraits, we wanna put the eyes way up here, okay? What this actually helps us see is the true proportion of the face, because the face actually um, the eyes are, you draw them much further down than most of us realize. So we're also going to make a little line that's halfway between this line. You see that? I'm going to draw mine darker. You all are going to draw yours light. We're going to make a little line that's about halfway between there and here, your chin. And then we're gonna make a little line that's halfway between those two points. All right, so I'm gonna just show you. Once again, you're drawing yours very light. I'm doing mine darker just so you can see it on the video. And then we're gonna talk about where the eyes go. So the eyes <clears throat> basically are going to be equal distance from the middle here, which is gonna be the midline of your nose. So your eyes are actually gonna be on this line right here, and they're going to be equal distance, and they're actually equal distance between your eyes, if that makes sense. So there's, if you put your fingers together and made a little space, these two lines on the outer edge and inner edge of your eye are halfway in between these, same with this, and then the space of each of those, that space is the same right in the middle. So another thing that we can do is just kind of put like a little light circle right here for the tip of our nose. And then let's just go ahead, let's see. Our ears are gonna start right here at the top of our eyes, the midline of our eyes right here. We have our ears. And then let's go ahead and just get an, um, a shape for our hair. So I have an extra line here from the pencil mark. Your hairline comes down further than you think. So a lot of times we draw the hair way up here when actual, actually the hairline comes much further down on the forehead. So go ahead and just draw. If you have bangs, you can draw bangs. Your hair goes back on the sides. Just give yourself some sort of a hairline right there just to kind of start with. And then we're going to draw some eyes. 
Now, if you have a mirror to look in and you would like to look into a mirror to try to help you draw this right now, perfect. Even better. But I'm gonna go ahead and give my eyes an almond type of shape. And we have an eyelid here on the top. So have an eyelid on the bottom. And then we have our actual eyeball in the middle. So at this point, go ahead and why don't you add in some eyebrows because we would look awfully different without eyebrows. So the eyebrows are gonna be, I don't know, a half an inch or so above your eyes. So you just want to work on your eyebrows. Like I said, if you have a mirror to look in, all the better. And if you don't, just have fun drawing the details. Faces are pretty symmetri symmetrical. Do you all remember what that means? It means they're pretty much the same on both sides. So this line drawn down the middle, what I see here, I'm pretty much going to see here, like on a butterfly, if you kind of went down the middle between their wings. So we'll just try to make it as symmetrical as we can, but it certainly does not have to be perfect. And then we wanna go ahead and add, and at this point, let's go ahead and just erase that line that you drew across. Go ahead and just erase a lot of that. Okay. And let's just add the nose so we've got the nose. People draw the noses lots of different ways. We'll give it a little bit of a bridge here, which is that part that's between your eyes um, that stands up coming down to the tip of your nose. And then this little round part that we made that circle in right there, that's going to be the tip of our nose. So I just kind of drew this part around that little circle kind of give me the tip and then once I've done that I can erase that circle once I feel happy with the shape of the nose okay I know I'm going a little bit fast but you can always just kind of rewind you can pause it um, in the middle while you're working on different parts so you don't feel like you have to rush to keep up with me okay so the next thing that we're gonna do, we all have, and you can touch that little part um, in between your nose and where your lip starts, kind of a little indentation. We'll make a little mark for that indentation. We don't have to draw the whole thing. And then this line that we drew right here is going to be about the middle of the mouth. So think about what kind of expression you want your portrait to have and then shape those lips around that line. So that line is the middle of the lips. And then we'll just kind of fill the bottom lip in and the top. And if it seems too frowny, then turn, turn the lips up a little bit more so it looks like you're smiling a little bit. Okay. Awesome. And let's go ahead and give ourselves a neck. The neck is not a little lollipop, okay? <laughs> Just remember, it's not a lollipop stick. We need very ample support for our head. So make sure that your neck lines basically kind of come down from the middle of your eyeball. So if you took your hand and went down from the middle, that's where your neck would be. And then why don't we go ahead and just fill in some of these details. Add to some of these lines. I'm gonna go ahead and do my iris. Obviously we're just doing this with pencil, but you can kind of make it as big or dark as you want it to. This one, I think the eyelid needs to go a little bit over so I can just adjust some of those lines as I feel like I need to. Make this iris in the middle, pupil. Okay, you guys already worked on your eyebrows. 
and let's see. What else are you thinking that we're needing right now? Mm-hmm. Yep, some eyelashes. So, and there's this little part right here in the corner of your eye that has a little line that comes down if you want to add that. I'm going to add some eyelashes, just a few, maybe not a ton. Can you see those? Um, a few on each side, maybe a few on the bottom. And I'm just kind of thinking about what I want to do with my hair. Let's see, I'm seeing that my, this ear looks a little too small. Maybe just making some adjustments like that. Oh, I want my ear to go in a little bit more. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase those lines that come straight down through. So we have that vertical and that horizontal line. We're just gonna go ahead and take those. You can just use your eraser to get rid of those lines. And then think about what kind of hair you want to add to your self-portrait. Do you want to have braids? Is your hair short? Um, do you want to put it in a ponytail? Do you have it spiky? Or maybe you had a mohawk from quarantine. You got to do a mohawk. So just think about um, whatever you want to do. And then we did the line uh, for the kind of the bangs the front here of our hairline. Your um, hairline is going to come above for the top of your hair. The head that you drew. And I'm gonna do a couple little space buns down at the bottom, because I think they're cute. <laughs> And then after you have your basic hair, that's when you can start to add uh, individual hair. So you never wanna start adding lines of hair until you kinda of have the shape of the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and outline this in Sharpie. You all are welcome to outline with your permanent markers, or you can keep it all in pencil and start to add some shading. Um, add details in with your pencil, whatever you all want to do. That's totally up to you. Another option is if you want to mix up another shade of uh, your skin tone, you could try those mixings again with the red and the yellow and the black and the white. See what you come up with today. And you can go ahead and just paint that into your self portrait. Um, however you want to do it, it's great. But at least this will give you a good idea of all the proportions, where the placement goes, so you don't end up with eyes on your forehead. I hope you had fun doing a self-portrait today. Tomorrow we get to put it all together.